Sitting in my blackness. Number one, my blackness is, my blackness is simple. I am not a lot of things that people think I am. I am not your stereotype. I am not sassy. My blackness is nerdy. My blackness is cool. My blackness is chill as a motherfucker. My blackness is creative. I'm an artist, an innovator, a thinker. My blackness is sweet, it's soft, it's funny, it's endearing. My blackness is uniquely me and I live my truth through it. So one of the questions that I often get in a lot of leadership spaces and movement spaces is, when was the first time that you realized you were black? I first realized that I was black when I was teased and called darky and smoky and shadow as uh, an elementary student. One experience in particular includes me getting suspended from the school bus for fighting. And part of that fight was because there was a white kid from one of the trailer parks who was teasing my little cousin and calling her these same names, Blackie, Fatty. She, she was kind of chubby. Um, and all of these just really mean, mean things. And once he started to pick on her, he was also picking on me. So I jumped in and in those moments, I was like, you're not gonna call me black. And I would hit them. Um, and they had you know, this video on, on camera and they brought us into the school library the next day. And they were just like, you know, why, why are you guys fighting? And it's like, this kid is bullying us because of how we look and who we are. And I remember that moment. I often share experiences of learning blackness from my, my family and from my folks. I'm the only one amongst my siblings who has dark skin. And so in my younger years, I would be teased a lot because my blackness was darker than my brothers. My blackness was darker than my mom's. And I found a lot of connection with my grandmother who shared this same skin tone. And my grandmother was um, an, an AKA. She was a founder of a chapter of the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority in Mississippi. And I, I aspired towards that because growing up, I remember her loving fashion a lot. I, I remember her loving herself and her beauty and her darkness despite that. And as I got older, of course, I learned that there are insecurities. There are things associated with being, being black and especially being dark. You know, those were some of those early moments of just realizing my blackness. And it's unfortunate that blackness had to be discovered through those negative circumstances, but I still feel very privileged that in my immediate family, especially with my mother, that she always let me know that like I was her, I was her girl, I was her love child, and my blackness was beautiful. I was her little chocolate sweet pea, and I, I love that. Those are just a few experiences of me learning my blackness and what that means. I hope that you guys will join me throughout this month definitely feel free to share your own videos, your own thoughts on some of these topics too, and stay tuned for all the videos that are to come.